like a week. So we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches Hello. on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you and past you and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as the security guard. So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out in the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice, and a foxy head, which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk fan, very old school, metal though. So watch the fingers. Uh, <laughs> uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. But I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, then we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, boo. <laughs> uh, but you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings says it was like an extra room that got boarded up or uh, something like that. So we're going to take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cams. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go offline. <laughs> uh, in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. I wasn't joking about the fire. That, that, that's a real risk. Uh, the most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. And if you let that ventilation go off wide, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. Some vintage audio training cassettes. 
Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training tapes for like other employees or something like that. So I thought we could like have them playing like over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes this feel legit, man. But I have an even better surprise for you. And you're not gonna believe this. We found one. A real one. Uh, 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 gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I'm, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Talk to you later, Matt. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, these tapes will provide you with much needed information on how to handle slash climb into slash climb out of mascot costume. Right now, we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suit. So please pay close attention Hi. while learning how to operate these suits as accidents slash injury slash death slash reparable and grotesque basis can occur. First of all, we have to operate the mascot in an animatronic form. So this is operation of animatronic or set to turn and walk for sound Animatronic stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd boosting value. To change the animatronic Hi. to this mode, enter and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic parts around the sides of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Please make sure that spring locks are fast and tight to ensure the animatronic devices remain fixed. We will cover this in more detail in tomorrow's session. Hello. Remember to smile, you are the face of Freddy Fazbear's pizza.
Hello?
Hello? Hi. Not a break room, it should not be considered a place for employees to hide 
and or a congregate. And under no circumstances Hello. should a customer ever be taken into this room and out of the main show area. Management has also been made aware that the Spring Bonnie animatronic has been noticeably moved and would like to remind employees that this costume is not safe to wear under any circumstances. Thank you, and remember to smile. You are the face of Freddy Fazbear's pizza.
employees that due to budget restrictions, the previously mentioned safe rooms are being sealed in most locations, including this one. Work plans will be here most of the day today, constructing a false wall over the old door face. Nothing is being taken out beforehand, so if you left anything inside, then it's your own fault. Management also requests that this room not be mentioned to family, friends, or insurance representatives. Thanks again, and remember to smile. You are the face of Freddy Fazbear's pizza.
hello